you'll see why. readings, you know, they're problematic. You're all hot and tired and, you know, you want to go home, and, right? No, no, no you fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a poetry reading at Dennis Wills in La Jolla about 12, 13 years ago, and a guy was reading from his new book, and he was going on long real long, and then I looked down and I realized he wasn't choosing poems from the book. He was reading it page after page, and he was like only halfway through the book. And at that moment, my heart sank, but I got the poem. I this poem came to me that I was in hell, that those kind of endless poetry readings are nothing but hell, and that's where I belong to for my own too long, too lengthy readings, you know. So I wrote this poem called, I Attend a Poetry Reading. <laughs> the fellow reading poetry at us wouldn't stop. <laughs> Nothing would dissuade him. Not the stifling heat, the smoky walls with their illuminated clocks, our host who shifted anxiously from foot to foot. Polite applause had stiffened to an icy silence. No one clapped or nodded. No one sighed. Surely he must understand that we had families waiting for us. <laughs> Jobs we had to get to in the morning. The chair was murdering my back. The cappuccino tasted unaccountably of uric acid. <laughs> Lurid bullfight posters flickered in the red fluorescent light. And suddenly I knew that I had died. <laughs> and for those much too windy readings of my own had been condemned to sit forever in this damned cafe. A squadron of enormous flies buzzed around the cup of piss I had been drinking from. Up at the mic, our poet of the evening grinned and flicked his tail and kept on reading. <laughs>